YouTube, Lake1827. Welcome back. This is my annual top pipe tobaccos for the year, so 2022. Um, I'll just preface this just slightly with, I was given a ton of samples this year to smoke through, and I only smoked through a handful of tins. Otherwise, most of these I only smoked a couple of bowls worth. So, I didn't usually give it my full run through like I do, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So number one was uh, Samuel Gawith Jubilee. That was a tin of uh, tobacco from 2012 that I found last winter. It was a Virginia and it was topped with champagne and it just had a really interesting flavor. Um, essentially almost a, uh, an aromatic Virginia, but I really enjoyed the top note on that one and I smoked through it pretty quickly. Number two was a sample I was given. I had several bowls and I smoked through, I think three or four straight bowls just in one evening, but it was also my first Lakeland blend and I really enjoyed it and that was, uh, Samuel Gowith or Gowith Hogarth's Bonson Cut Plug. Number three, um, not much of an English smoker lately, and uh, broke out some uh, bulk Dunhill early morning pipe that I had jarred away from about 2010. And uh, wow, that was really well balanced really smooth, really flavorful, um, yeah, EMP was, was a really good one. Next up was another bulk blend that I had jarred away for six years and that was a Luxury Bullseye Flake, uh, Peter Stokeby. Really smooth, uh, really mellowed out. No rough edges to that one at all. And the Cavendish Center just kind of kept it interesting. And then number uh, five was a uh, Watch City Cigar Blend, actually, that I was given a sample of uh, the Rogaroo. Rogaroo. I really enjoyed that one. So that's my uh, top five for the year. Do have a couple honorable mentions. I'm drinking uh, just some liquor spice tea. And then the housekeeping. This is my Scott's Pipes, Scott Klein, handmade. A uh, nice little acorn with a saddle bit. So, honorable mentions for the year. Uh, another Watch City Cigar Blend, the Simply of Oriental. Really enjoyed the play on the, their, uh, the way that he does those uh, red Virginias and then mixed with the Orientals. Oh, and I forgot to mention what I'm smoking here. Um, this is the Low Country Alianta or something. Cloud Bear gave me this sample in Vegas. This is my last bowl of it. Um, it's like a, it's along the lines of uh, the Simply Oriental. It's like a Virginia or a vapor with Oriental on it. And honestly, this blend, not really impressed by it. But anyway, I digress. The other honorable mentions that I do have though Another Stokeby blend, uh, a bulk blend that I did also uh, get a sample from uh, from Max Stokeby while I was at the Vegas show. Uh, Danish Export number 81. That one I really liked. Um, I really liked uh, Troost Special Cavendish. That was my number one several years back. And the, uh, the topping on this uh, Danish Export just a straight Virginia blend, easy 
ribbon cut. Very nice. I really enjoyed that flavor. And then rounding out my honorable mentions, um, just finished up a tin of uh, Wessex Campaign Dark Flake. I really liked the change up of those Dark Virginias, a little bit more full flavor. And then one I would definitely rate higher, and I hope I can figure out how to smoke it, but uh, Samuel Goweth Black Double X. That black Virginia steamed rope. So hard to get burning, but oh man, the flavors on that one are excellent. I'll leave a list in the ashtray of everything else that I've smoked through this year. Like I mentioned before, a lot of it was samples that I had two or three bowls of. So kind of got impressions of them. I didn't give them all scores, um, but for the most part, most of them were pretty good. The only blends that I was really disappointed in would be this one from Low Country. It just, this one in particular, I can't pick out the Virginias, I can't pick out the Preaks, and I pick, can't pick out the Orientals. Like, it's a cohesive blend, but I don't know. It doesn't taste like any of those things, really, to me. And it just doesn't have that interest, that much of an interesting flavor. It smokes okay, but... The other ones that I was slightly disappointed in were all of the uh, Cascadia plugs. And I don't know if it was just how my samples were given to me, how they were cut, but I just couldn't get any flavor out of any of those plugs. So that's my list for the year. Let me know what you guys think. I do look forward to seeing everybody else's lists that come out at the end of the year. It's always fun to see what people liked, what people didn't like, what they found to smoke. I'm toying with the idea of maybe not for the whole year, but maybe for like six months out of the year, just smoking one blend and maybe even just one blend in one pipe. I don't think I'll start right at the beginning of the year, but maybe once things warm up like into the spring and summer, I might just try to just pick one and go with it, see how it goes. But otherwise, I haven't made any hard decisions or premeditated goals for next year, but we'll see. Anyway. Hope everybody has a very nice, happy, joyous holiday season and stay safe. And I will uh, see you guys next year. Take it easy. Do you have tobacco? I sure don't. Put those tins of tobacco right there behind you.